What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So this will be a spoiler free review for Saw X. I'm not too sure if I will even do a spoiler filled review. I'm very tired. It's been a long week. But diving into this very fantastic movie. Saw X we know is taking place in between the events of Saw and Saw 2. Uh, a sick and desperate John Kramer travels to Mexico for a risky and experimental medical procedure in hopes of a miracle cure, miracle cure for his cancer only to discover the entire operation is a scam to defraud the most vulnerable. Armed with a newfound purpose, the infamous serial killer returns to his work, turning the tables on the con artist in his signature visceral way through devious, deranged, and ingenious traps. Saw X is directed by Kevin Grudert, written by Peter Goldfinger and Josh Stolberg. It is starring Shawnee Smith, Tobin Bell, Stephen Brand and several others who really do not matter because I need to start going over this review for again this very fantastic new entry in the Saw franchise. So Saw X delivers one of the most engaging games for Jigsaw thus far and has now become my third favorite entry. I'm going to put this right behind Saw 2. We were promised this would be John Kramer's most personal game and it definitely lives up to the hype. Peter Goldfinger and Josh Stolberg do a solid job with this screenplay. Kevin Gruder brings it to life in a way that keeps you on the edge while simultaneously making you squirm during the signature trap sequences that this franchise is known for. The screenplay takes its time to let us get to know our characters or victims, I should say, something that I think has not been done in this manner and any other previous Saw entry. It digs into John Kramer as we knew it would, but it's done in a way that allows us to feel his desperation, that vulnerability, his imagination quite literally there, and longing for a cure to his brain cancer. It's a narrative choice that further humanizes him, fuels his motivations, as well as as well based on or, or it further humanizes him as well based on some of his uh, more pleasant exchanges he has during this film. The writing decisions which are brought to life wonderfully through Tobin Bell's fantastic performance makes John's discovery of this scam a gut punch to not only him but to you as a viewer and a lot of you may find yourself siding with him during this movie I wasn't taking any sides to be quite honest it allows a moral battle to constantly occur inside of your head while you are watching because we know how Jigsaw operates but we've never seen him work his way up to the game the way that Saw X allows us to we see we see these people involved in this Peterson uh, scam. We see them present themselves as these frauds, doctors, and then we see who they really are underneath underneath it all. I wasn't taking any sides while watching, but it again this narrative decision it creates such a dilemma in your head while you while you're watching because I'm like okay I know John is wrong I know that these people are wrong but they did him dirty and they kind of deserve what they're getting. But the thing about it is, since they wrote the story in this capacity, that's what is constantly having in my mind. I'm going like, well, this isn't right. But then again, look at what they did to him. But then again, look at what he's done to other people. It's the fact that they allowed the characters to firstly be introduced, spend some time with them, and then they got placed into the traps. That's what created that constant war that was waging on in my head of this moral conflict that I just couldn't shake the whole time and that kept the film that much more engaging uh again John is just as guilty as these other people are still we are served an engaging story with characters that we can invest in regardless of if you like them or not admittedly some are more well-rounded than others but all parties are interesting nonetheless while every participant in the fraudulent Peterson project or Peterson project is guilty and unlikable some are more guilty than others and you'll see that as it progresses the work with Amanda in this film is gripping and respectful of the character's origins but you'll see what I mean she herself is facing a whirlwind of obstacles including her loyalty to John which is put to the test when one of the victims begin to pull at her heartstrings for reasons that serve as a callback to earlier entries the scaled back approach with the screenplay just really impressed me and the twists are highly satisfying as well. Just to go back to Amanda really quick, the material that she's given here is captured so wonderfully by Shawnee Smith. I just felt so sorry for the character and everything that we know she's been through and then seeing her in this predicament with the material that she's facing given the nature of what it is it was like ah oh, that's that's a tough tough pill to swallow kevin gruder directed the hell 
out of this movie. Fantastic cinematography with a color palette that callbacks to my childhood memories of this series. The overwhelming amount of tension and suspense kept it intriguing. The chaotic and frantic, frantic editing style of the series that this is known for continues to be another aspect that amplifies how overwhelmed you feel during the gruesome trap sequences, almost as if you're in the chair yourself with the character or as if you're the character themselves. One of which really made me wish for it to just be over already, which takes me to my next compliment, pacing, phenomenal pacing that lets the emotional highs register and sink in just as much as it lets the gore make you uncomfortable as possible. Charlie Closer's score, he's been a part of part of the franchise since the beginning, I believe. I don't think anyone has ever contributed to the score besides Charlie himself. Uh, yeah, he's been here since day one. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. His score continues to remain one of the series' strongest assets. It adds to the tension. It adds to the suspense. It adds to the emotional highs. It adds to all of the drama that unfolds at the end of the film in such a tremendous way. Honestly, at the end of the movie, I don't know if I'm the only one, but was anyone else getting Scream vibes? And I was very much so on board with that. It felt like it was taking a page out of Scream in a lot of ways, post-Killer Reveal, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, Tobin Bell and Shawnee Smith are beyond amazing here in their roles. Their chemistry on screen is undeniable, and it was nice seeing that father-daughter bond play out once more with a little bit more emotion this time around. Bell's performance speaks to how hurt and frustrated and desperate John is during this film, and rightfully so. All in all, honestly, guys, Saw X is just... It's, it's just one of the better entries in this franchise. It, it is. As someone who was defending Spiral, even I, over time, was like, okay, while I like Spiral, it's one of my favorites as well. Spiral is leaps and bounds more flawed than Saw X. Saw X was the true return to form that we deserved. We got it. I cannot wait to see what we get in the future because I'm sure this movie will be a success at the box office. I hope all of you enjoy it when you go out and see it this weekend. It was a hit from top to bottom. Not going to say that it was perfect. Again, I don't believe there is any 10 out of 10 movie. I'm not going to give this movie a 10 out of 10. What I will do is give it a very strong 8. I enjoyed the hell out of it. It is well crafted. It calls back to the series of or to the older days of the series while modernizing it, obviously, for a new generation, while still appealing to those who grew up with it like myself. Tobin Bell seeing him back in this role. It was great. It was fantastic. Very nostalgic. A lot of nostalgia is felt during this film. I hope you guys again enjoy it when you see it later this weekend or tonight even because a lot of you probably saw it tonight and are watching my review out of uh out of the theater but let me know what you guys think about this movie down in the comment section below did you enjoy saw x why or why not uh let me know down below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video